Welcome back. I'm uh, going to make a pretty short video. Um, I cannot stand orange in my headlights, so I replaced the um, blinker bulbs, the amber blinker bulbs, with uh, LED bulbs. Um, and I'm just going to do a really quick t tutorial on a load equalizer for the LED lights so you can get rid of any hyper flash uh, issues that you may be having. Um, it will, if you do not put this in, um, if you just simply change out those bulbs, and even if you have, um, you know, hyper flash removal um, in the back, uh, like I do with the tail lights here that I got from uh, Subi Speed, the Spec D tail lights, um, it will uh, still hyper flash. So we're gonna have to put them in up front as well too. Um, so like I said, quick tutorial. That way, if you guys have any questions or concerns. Um, be able to help out. So what I did first All right, Just so you know where we're at in the car. So the headlight So this is the blinker light right here I'm going to splice that with a razor blade and remove it so that I have access to both of those wires that yellow and brown one and then with that yellow and brown wire I'm going to uh, remove a section I don't know the terminology, I apologize, but I'm going to remove a section um, or gap, so to speak, in both of those wires just because I'm just not a fan in general of these crimps. Um, so I'm going to remove a section of those wires and then with the equalizer that was provided to me, I'm going to remove um, a little bit more. So I have more uh, wire showing. And then with that section removed, I'll, I'll show you what I'm gonna do once I kinda do it, but I'm going to split it and then entwine the uh, wires with the equalizers on each ends into each one of those there, so I'll actually show you on a piece of paper. It'd be a lot easier to draw it out. No, it sounds weird, but I just want to make sure you guys fully understand. So, but once you do that, should get rid of the hyper blink and should be good to go with my LED blinkers. So, all right, guys. So I'm actually I'm actually doing this. I'm actually doing this drawing. Um, yeah, you can have your own, your own opinions, but I just want to fully explain. So this is your blinker bulb. You got your two. <laughs> two wires coming out of it and then it goes into just a mess of other wires down here connecting all the different light housings and such. Really all I did was, again, your bulb, your two wires. So this area, I cut the wires, um, but just the rubber housing, not the wire itself. Used um, you know some wire uh, clampers um, and was able to cut and then just took a little razor blade and made a slice between the two cuts um, and that enabled me to just peel the rubber housing off of the actual wire. Um, so then with the wire exposed, I then just um, took my razor blade, um, just kind of stuck it in the middle of the wire and then just gave a light twist and it kind of sp split, just separated, you know, half and half, so to speak of the wires. And then from there, I took my um, equalizer wires on each side here, and I entwined them through the split of the light bulb wires, and then just kind of twisted and twisted everything together. Um, just to really secure that um, connection, and then fastened everything um, individually first with electrical tape, and then um, after individually wrapping each of them with electrical tape because you obviously don't want those wires to be um, exposed to each other and touching and such. Um, I then wrapped both the wires together and that's it. Simple as can be. So thanks for uh, dealing with the uh, with the drawing and uh, again like I said any questions let me know. So I just want to show you the end result. So like I said no hyper blink. Um, and so what I did Again, oh, let me get you a light. So again, what I did was 
so I split the two wires coming out of it. I connected the two black wires. It does not matter which one you connect to for the hyperblink. And then I have the hyperblink up and underneath, tucked away underneath this metal piece here. Um, you want it to be next to metal um, or touching metal because it does get really hot. You do not want it on any plastic, so. Um, so there you go, did the same thing to the other side. Um, and yeah, simple, easy modification. I think it looks badass. Thanks guys. Any questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks.